Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about a question that was posted by a woman on Reddit. And this is a type of question that I really like because it encourages, in fact, it asks the other side, in this case, the man to be brutally honest and not hold back. So let's look at this question and then I'll talk about my answer that I posted eight quick points here. Um, I need some no bullshit dating advice for women. Give me the straight up tea about how to be attractive to men. No BS. I go on YouTube and these videos are all kind of like just be yourself or just wait and you will meet the right person at the right time. But then I watch men's dating advice and it's full of analytical breakdown of how to appeal to women's preferences. Don't get me wrong. There's also some spicy dating advice for women, but it's basically ignore men and focus on yourself and your girly stuff and then he will be chasing you. But that shit doesn't work. Agreed. So give me the no bullshit advice on how to be attractive to men. Do not hold back. So here are my nine rather points, nine specific points. Point number one, if you do online dating, put an effort into the process and make it count. Put a little bit of effort and a little bit, a little bit of time in, into your intro, into your profile. Make your pictures flattering. So many people post terrible pictures, both men and women, write nothing about themselves or write something very generic. I like to travel. I like to eat. I like to smile. Everyone is sick of it. And yet very few people write something that will be more compelling and more thought provoking and something that will get the other side to say, wow, this person is different. I really want to talk to them. If you decide to write to a guy in response to his profile, also make it count. Men are as sick of, hi, and how are you, and how is your weekend, every bit as women are. Especially if you wrote something in the profile, make your first message count, ask him something about whatever he wrote, and um, go from there. It could be very simple. If the guy says he likes biking, Ask him what his favorite routes are. And I don't know what his secret is to sustaining endurance physically and psychologically when he goes on these long, long rides. Does he prefer to ride alone or with other people? Ask him something that will show that you read his profile. Women like it, but guess what? Men like it too. With texting, show interest if you're interested. Don't answer his questions. And that's it. Ask your own to help the dialogue develop. So many conversations on apps, anywhere, simply die before they even develop because the other person, usually a woman, briefly answers the questions that the guy asks her and that's it. It ends there. The guy thinks that she's not interested in talking. Also, she doesn't make it easy for him to talk because he has, he has nothing to hang on to. Um, Number three, reply to the guy's communication promptly. We're all tired of flakes and games, and the three-day rule is way outdated and way irrelevant today. So um, if you respond to phone calls, to emails, to text messages fairly quickly, it shows that you're both interested and you know how to follow through. And if you're looking for a serious relationship, for a long-term relationship, follow through should be as important to you as it is to the other side. Number four, speak on the phone and hear each other's voices before meeting. No, it's not a waste of time. And if it feels like it is, then you're not talking to the right person. If you're not enjoying each other's voice and each other's conversation, or you're not in touch with the basic notion of what it means to develop a romantic connection. Number five, make the most of your looks. Lose weight if needed. Do not expect people to love you for who you are. If you're overweight, it's not going to work. People have been saying this to themselves for way too long. It's not a solution, especially if you're younger and you have time and you have energy to bring yourself back to normal way. Do it. Upgrade your hairstyle if necessary. You cannot go wrong with a business look, business casual look, or understated elegance look. If you haven't covered yourself with tattoos and piercings, consider not doing it. If your hair isn't blue or green or orange, consider not going in that direction either. Very few men find this attractive. Some do. The majority don't. 
Loose, baggy clothes have been in style lately for women, but they don't flatter anyone. Consider more form-fitting, flattering clothes to your body, especially if you have a nice body. Number six, do not allow your conversations on your first or second date revolve around work and career. I'm hoping this is self-explanatory, but if not, go girlism, boss babe attitude, um, talking about, complaining about your manager or uh, bragging about all of your accomplishments and all of your ambitions are hardly an aphrodisiac on a date. This might be the most important point. Do not go on dates if you're low on bonding glue. If you're too tired of dating, if you went on too many dates lately and you're caught up in this endless circle of one date stands, not one night stands, but one date stands, you can't be that attractive to anyone if you have this whatever vibe about you and you sit there and it, guys can tell that this is not really a date. You call it a date, but you just showed up because you had nothing better to do not attractive, not going to create anything good. Um, number eight, do not reach out for your cell phone on a date. I see it around me all the time. A couple shows up, clearly their first date, they don't know each other very well. As soon as the guy reaches for a menu at a bar or as soon as he goes to the bathroom, that very second, she immediately pulls out her phone. You might say, well, what's a big deal? She's just checking her email or she's checking whatever social media she's checking phone calls it immediately shows to the guy if he sees it that you're not present you're not there a hundred percent some guys may not notice it other guys will notice it it's just doesn't look good it doesn't feel right and above all number nine and this will make you more attractive as a woman very quickly and it will make you stand out in any situation is eye contact. Almost no woman, at least in an environment where I am, makes eye contact with anyone around them. Zero situational awareness. I know that some of the most single women, some of the women who are most eager to meet guys, some of the women who complain, who have been complaining about being single for the longest time, they also appear the most unapproachable when they're out. If I just look at them, I would think that they want to do whatever they can to keep guys away. Consider looking in, in the eyes of those men who you might find attractive, who ideally in the ideal world you want to have approach you and talk to you. If the time is right, if the place is right, and if you're feeling it. Um, this brings me back to, the, to this point, just be yourself. Yes, it's a bullshit advice. It's a lazy advice. It means nothing. When people don't want to think about what to tell you, they just say, just be yourself. That's what everybody says. Or just wait and you will meet the right person at the right time. This may have worked 50 years ago, but um, it's not going to work now. Now initiative and personal growth and personal improvement get rewarded. Looking at your own behavior, looking at your own appearance and asking yourself, what can I do differently? What are some simple steps that I can take to improve myself? That's what works. And every single thing I mentioned in this video is very practical, very specific, very simple, and very realistic for just about anyone to implement. Thanks for watching.